And there we go. We got some music. All right. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> um, talking about these bears. Got draft day today. Says so coming up within about what, 25, 20 minutes? About 20 minutes. Yeah, I got the draft coming up. Now, I got to apologize to the listeners, man. I'm. Um, What's up? I kind of boycotted football last year, man. I'm not going to front, man. Uh, the, you know, we the big Bears fans here, but last year was a huge disappointment. So um, I'm going to have much better analysis tomorrow for for who the Bears draft, a little bit, little bit on the type of players. I know right now, uh, you know, they're discussing that uh, I know McShay is thinking the Bears are going to go Jamal Adams, the safety from LSU. Um, well, i tell you what. I know Mel Kuyper is thinking – uh, let me see what Solomon Thomas from Stanford. Uh, My, I think Miles Miles Garrett might be gone first. They, they say that dude's the number one player in the draft, but he he'll probably go first to the Browns. But I'm so gonna let have. Me, let me ask you this. Let me cut you off. Go ahead. What do the Bears need to fill? What are, what positions do they really need to draft at? Well, defense. defense. We, we, we picked up the, the Glennon, the dude from Tampa. He's not really proven. Or you, the QB. The QB. Mm-hmm. Um. But defense, everywhere on, on defense. I know we do need we need safety. Uh, definitely need some D line help. Mm-hmm. Um, so I would say defense for sure should be the where they where they focus. But who knows, man? They they might draft a quarterback. I mean, I, I was reading rumors that they might get um uh, they might draft a quarterback. So I'm gonna have much better analysis tomorrow, really, on it. Um, and then this draft is coming up here shortly. So you know what I mean. So we'll be able to. We'll be able to finish. Well, you know, you got the Bears. <clears throat> they finished three and thirteen last year, mm-hmm. and with three and thirteen, you got a lot of holes you need to fill. Mm-hmm. One was at quarterback. We picked up Mike Glennon. Uh, like you said, you've been reading different reports. I've been reading different reports where they're gonna go for a running back. You know, uh, Galvin Cook out of Florida State. Okay. My thing is, why are you going for another running back? We just drafted one last year, and you got Jordan Howard who. Had an awesome year. Yeah. Imagine if he would have played the full season. Mm-hmm. And then I'm reading more, and they send in the secondary, you know, the top four positions the Bears need to fulfill. Mm-hmm. So you got the secondary, which is one. Also, offensive line needs help. Mm-hmm. Uh, defensive line that needs help. Mm-hmm. And we need to have a wide receiver. Mm-hmm. Where would you start if you if you're sitting in that in that in that war room for the Bears and you watched what you watched during this season. Mm-hmm. What would be your first line of attack? Would it be the defensive line? Would it be the secondary? Would it be the offensive line? Would it be the receivers? Would it be the running back? Mm-hmm. What? What would you? What, where would you start? I mean, I still question the quarterback position. You know nothing about this Glennon dude. So, well, according to his stats, he's efficient. Even uh, though he ain't played many games, but according to his stats, he's efficient. We'll see. We'll see. Man. The jury's still out on that. Let's let's play some games and then we'll see. But I, I really feel like our defense needs to improve. I think we, we do exactly. need another wide. We need a wide That's receiver too. But we just say. signed some wide receivers. I don't got the names on on top of my head right now. I know we signed some wide receivers, some decent wide I receivers. I mean, the Bears have been active during so, this offseason. During this offseason, they, they they've been really a lot active, of nice man. They people. signed a lot of a lot of decent players. But I think defensively, man, that side of the ball, the, the D line, safety, cornerback. That's that's pretty much why I see what we need to really, really improve at. Now they say for the safety, since you you mentioned that the secondary, I was reading alone that they're interested in strong safety Jamal Adams, mm-hmm. free safety Malik Hooker, mm-hmm. and uh cornerback Marshawn Lattimore. Now okay. I like Lattimore. Lattimore is a uh, in your face, hard nose, and he give you a hit. Okay. You know, that that's that's the boy out of LHU. Okay. Um, and then you got, let me see this, the second line of, that they need to go ahead and attack is that defensive line. Right. We had a lot of injuries on that defensive line. Right. You know, that was part of the, that was part of the reason why the Bears didn't have a, such a good season because they were hit with injuries bad. We did get hit with injuries bad. We did. Because we was, we was stouted the on defense. We had a, we had or at least our defense should have been much better than it was. So we did get hit with injuries, but I think we got that cancer out of there, man. Jay Cutler was a cancer to the squad, man. <laughs> I think him being gone is just gonna be good anyway. I just think that's gonna be much better for us anyway, man, for real. 
So they, these are the prospects they say the Bears should look into. Miles Garrett, defensive end, defensive lineman Solomon Thomas, and defensive tackle Jonathan Allen. You know any of those players? I know nothing about them. I know Miles Garrett, Texas A&M, okay. say he's one of the top players, but he's lazy, man. They say the report is lazy. The report is that he's lazy, potential to be great. Mm-hmm. Had eight and a half sacks. Four of them was in one game against one of the weakest teams mm-hmm. in college football. Um, like, he's got the dominance in him, but he just turns it on and turns it off. He ain't consistent. Right. But he's the only one I know most mostly about. But I'm going to have much more analysis, like I said, tomorrow when we do the show and, um, and be able to really pinpoint at least whoever they pick. I'm going to make sure I can do all my homework. Yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow we're going to do mostly an uh, NFL show. Yeah, we go cover it. Put it like that to cover more. Um, we go cover it. Y'all got to forgive us, man. We, we've we been on playoff basketball mode. So, yeah. so I mean uh, – you know, still talking football. Oh, yeah. Got it. Oh, you know. What do you think that offensive line did? Last year? Yeah. I think it did a pretty I good job. I think it did a pretty good job, to be honest with you, for that rookie to have the type of year he yeah, had. Yeah, he did a pretty um, good job. I think they did a pretty good job. Um, I thought they protected Cutler well last year, or even uh, Hoyer. I thought they protected Hoyer well. Mm-hmm. So, we on the rise, man. We on the rise. So, they say these are the top prospects for the Bears. Offensive tackle Ryan Ramsick. Sorry if I said your name wrong. Offensive guard Forrest Lamb. Offensive tackle Cam Robinson. You know anything about them? I know nothing. I know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I know absolutely nothing. That 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 Ryan Ramsick. You know I'm a Big Ten fan, and I think he's a Big Ten. I think he's a Big Ten player from Wisconsin. That names do sound familiar. So. I don't know too much about him, but, you know, we're just getting here giving you what these so-called experts say are the top draft pick for the Bears. But you know, we all know that on the field play really determines all. And you even, even had players in the eighth and, you know, late rounds that come out to be damn, be great players. Right. Better than the ones that these people put all these high hopes on. Right. You know, one of them is a five-time uh, Super Bowl. Yeah. Champion. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so... The draft I, I, I watch, but I feel like it's just like a name drop. That's all it is. You know, it's just name we'll drop. We'll know more about the names that drop when the season starts. Right. And the season goes on. We remember those names. And, oh, okay, that's the exactly. Kid. Okay, he, he he's decent. You know, so ball is so much. It's so it's a much bigger sport than basketball in terms of the I just, of players and stuff. Like I just that, hope so. that in that war room, those those guys they just focusing on the necessary needs. Man, the please make the right decisions, man. Just make the right decision for the price that we pay to go to Soldier Field. We at least should see the team that's worth it. That's Absolutely. all I gotta say. Absolutely, you know. So, I mean, um, next thing I'm gonna talk about, yeah, AP. This shocked the hell out of me. I wasn't shocked, but okay, go ahead. I was shocked AP went to New Orleans. Not only was I shocked by him going to New Orleans, but I I was floored. By this dude signing two years, three mil. Now I didn't hear people say, "Yeah, he'd have made more than enough money." Who out the band? This and that. Now I understand that. Do they have the pieces to compete and win again in New Orleans with AP? Absolutely. Not. You got a Hall of Famer with Drew Brees. Absolutely. You got not. a Hall of Famer coach in Sean Payton. Absolutely not. Everybody's old. Everybody's old. The Saints are always usually there. They're usually in the is playoffs. Ingram, Ingram still over there, right? He is. Yeah, the Saints are usually always there, but AP is not going to be the X factor. I mean, he did carry a, a Minnesota team to the playoffs for, last year. Last year, I think what year before that? And the year before that. Uh, I don't know if he's that same player, man. I, don't, I mean, that's why it's you know they got him for such. They got him so cheap, man. He's I mean he's a. AP is a veteran now. He's a veteran running back. You know, them, them running backs last maybe five years, four, five. They don't last forever. But he's like still that. effective. Uh, we'll see. I don't. <laughs> I don't look at AP as a superstar like I used to. I did. I, I did. mean, some I, of the fire probably did go out. It might be. I don't know. It, it might be gone. But I could be eating my words. This season, we could be talking to you about. Remember that shit you was talking about, AP? Right, right. It right. could be that too. True. So true, true. you never know, man. You never me, know. Me personally. I don't understand it. I would think AP was like, you know, he on he towards the end of his his season. 
meaning his his career. Right. Um. Why not go to a a, a more legit competitor? You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like Marshawn Lynch. You know, he he coming back to the mix in the NFL. <clears throat> he made a great decision. Yeah, he going to the Raiders. That, great that is decision. Because that Raiders team that's, is, he, he could pretty much be the piece. That he Raiders, could be the piece. Yeah, that Raiders that's, now, that's more of a conversation about mm-hmm. he could be the piece that they need. So what you think? What, he, what he brings? Step. Man, just that Cause they had man. the Raiders you know, already he, had like two stud running backs. They did, but he's, you know, he's gonna bring that intensity. He's just gonna be angry. Boy, that's that you know, beast mode. He, he beast mode all day. He just gonna bring, you know, he just gonna bring that. He gonna bring it, man. Bottom line, he's gonna bring it. Well, the Raiders are adding a, a, a one hell of a player to an already phenomenal, I, phenomenal. Roster, yeah, you know, yeah, they man. <laughs> I don't know. Are they a threat in the AFC? Oh, okay, absolutely. Are they coming out of the AFC? With Lynch, think about I that. I say, I say, it's between them and the Patriots again. Patriots are there all the time. Man. I hate that I have to say that. That's a safe bet. But the Patriots are always there. But I think it's between Oakland and, and the Patriots for sure. For sure. I mean, you got... But Marshawn Lynch is a big piece to add to add to that. Oh, Marshawn Lynch is... Man. I don't know what to say. Yeah. It's just I can't wait for the season to get started. You know, I, I sometimes I just hate talking about sports when the season don't start it because, you know, you're just flying off the top of your head. Yeah, because you don't know yet. You don't know yet. You know, is he going to stay healthy? This mm-hmm. and that, this and that. You know, I'm just... I'm just excited for yeah. the season to start and I'm, I'm happy that... You know, it's, it's getting closer and closer. And tonight's draft is going to tell us a lot about the Bears organization, too. Mm-hmm. You know, should we continue watching? Because I know a lot of people, they they starting to just, like, turn their nose away from the Bears. Because mm-hmm. we tired of it. Mm-hmm. You know, we, we dealt with Cutland. You know, what, what are we going to deal with now? Right. That's the truth. This is a new era. That's the truth. You know, this is like... So, we're going to... Uh, we're going to talk more about that, you know. Library, tomorrow. We'll library a little bit more tomorrow. We tomorrow. Gonna, yeah. Don't get into some more music on this Throwback Thursday. Down here in the Player Cave. This is Bring Your A Game Sports Talk Radio. And whacking y'all ear. After we come from this little song break, man, I got some snoop coming up for y'all. I ain't going to tell y'all the song, man, because it's, it's one of my dopest favorites. Which one is? It? Man, none of your business, man. Just wait to see. <laughs> you going to hear it? Be back in y'all in a minute. Bring your game sports talk radio. You dig? <laughs> yeah, what's happening? This one is dedicated to my niggas. All my niggas out there. G's up, hold down. Yeah. Ladies and gents, players and pimps, listen. One, two, oh, what shall I do? I'm slipping on my khaki suit. The blue one gun by my side as I mob through the beach on a mission and I'm fishing for my DJ Warren G. Now, as I look for the bud sack and see where my love's at, on the lake where the dub's at. Cognac is the drink that's drank by G. Sagging like a motherfucker, khakis to their knees. Bitch, please, you know how we do the undercover. I'm Snoop Doggy Dog, not your average motherfucker. See, so you don't know about the cheap thing. It's the smooth things that shit that be dropping you crazy. You know, as you move to the beat and you move to the sign, I'm gonna hit you up with a bang. Jigs up, old sand. Back with the one, two, three into the four. It's the S, two, O into the O. Pain. Why am I so blind? I don't know, but. It's the end of, I don't fuck with the focus, everybody knows this, fucking with the chronic, cause the chronic gives me dopeness, now focus your eyes on me, follow me as I take your rolling with the real OG, east side is the motherfucking place, known as home, doggy dog with my bone in my hand, 20 grand and some of you don't know about the shit thing, baby, it's the smooth gangs, the shit that be driving you crazy, now as you move to the G-Funk, you move to the sand, I hit you up with the pound, G's up, hold it, all the way. 